Jack Benny program. Uh-oh. Mr. Benny be through with his rehearsal. I better get his makeup ready. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I can't do everything. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this is Mr. Benny's dressing room. Now, I'm sorry you can't talk to him now. He's rehearsing. Yeah, he's rehearsing. I said he was rehearsing! <laughs> what do you think, he had lips all that stuff? <laughs> A uh, telegram for Mr. Benny. I'll, t I'll take it, boy. Uh, don't go away. I want to give you a tip. Where's Mr. Benny's pants? Oh, there they are. I should know where they're. <laughs> Here you are, a quarter. Thanks. So long. Tired. How was the rehearsal, Mr. Benny? Oh, fine, fine. Joe, give me my pants, will you? You know, before a show, I get so nervous. <laughs> Here. I wonder if I need a shave. Uh, here they are, Mr. Benny. Here's your pants. Oh, thanks. Now, Joey. Yes, sir? As I said before... Who took a quarter out of my pants? Huh? I did. I gave it to the telegram boy. The telegram was for you, so naturally I tipped him with your money. But a quarter was too much. Well, how do I know you tip by weight? <laughs> All right, just go, will you? All right, I'll go. You're such a stingy. <laughs> hmm. Wonder who this wire is from. Dear Mr. Benny, we want to thank you very much for sending us your orchestra. We're holding them over two more weeks. The Happy Valley Sanitarium. <laughs> Gee, two more weeks. I can hardly recognize the boys. Every time they dry them out, they come back two inches shorter. <laughs> oh, well. Come in. Hi, Mary. Hi. Well, we'll be on the air pretty soon. Do you like your part? Well, most of it, Jack, but there's something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? Well, you know, I've been working for you for a very long time, and... I think, without a doubt, you're one of the great talents of the American theater. Mm. Not only are you suave, debonair, and sophisticated, but you're also versatile in dramatics. And without a doubt, the dean of American comedy. Oh, well, thank you, Mary. Now, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? That line. Don't you think it's too long for my opening speech? <laughs> for heaven's sakes, Mary, I put that in myself just to show up my other quality. I'm sick and tired of my writers always making me a cheap and stingy character. Jack, don't blame it on your writers. You are parsimonious and you know it. Parsimonious? What's that? It's a high-class word meaning open up your wallet and let the sun shine in. <laughs> Miss Livingston, if you're insinuating what I think you are, then you should have been here just a little while ago when that Western Union boy came in. What do you think I tipped him? An ounce and a half. How'd you know? Joey told me. That blabbermouth. Hey, Mary, do me a favor, will you? Sure. Put my links in here. Okay. Thanks. Come in. Hiya, kids. Hi, Hi Bob. Come on in. Thought you might like some soft drinks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Bob. Say, Jack, could I borrow your powder? Yeah, here. Here you are, Bob. <laughs> Say, Jack, about that song that Mary and I are going to do on the show today, how much time are you going to allow us? Oh, about two, two and a half minutes. Have you got a good arrangement of it? At the best, made by one of the boys up in Happy Valley. Oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah, Remley brought it to me this morning. Remley? Remley's out of the sanitarium? 
I mean, how did he get over the wall? He didn't have to. He's got a corkscrew that goes right through cement. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, one of his kids gave it to him for Father's Day. <laughs> well, he must have been surprised. Huh? Yeah, he didn't know he had that kid. Well, here's your shirt, Jack. Oh, thanks, Mary. You know, I've been thinking about that number that Bob and I are going to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I want to be in it. Why not? Well, singing out in front of so many people makes me awfully nervous. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Mary. Look how many times I've walked out on the stage in front of people with my violin. And I'm certainly no Heifetz or Isaac Stern or a, or a Michelle Elman. You can throw Spade Cooley in there, too. <laughs> no quiet. Look, Mary, if you're worried about the song, why don't you and Bob run over it right now? Now? Certainly, we've got plenty of time. And look, Bob, here's the way I'm going to introduce it. You see, I'm going to say, and now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Livingston is going to sing. And with her is my guest star, that very charming and talented and popular young man, Mr. Bob Cross. I like New York in June. How about you? I like a Gershwin tune. How about you? I like a fireside when a storm is due. I like potato chips, moonlight, and motor trips. How about you? I'm mad about good books. Can't get my fill. The way young lovers look gives me a thrill. Holding hands in a movie show when all the lights are low may not be new. But I like it. How about you? I'm fond of artichokes. How about you? Jack Benny's corny jokes. How about you? I like to window shop on the avenue. I like the human race, opera, and booyah bass. How about you? I'd like a pizza pie. I'm hungry, too. I wonder who will buy. I wish I knew. Let's be fair. Let's be sociable. I'm not negotiable. <laughs> we know that's true. But we like it. How about you? I told you Mary was going to be fun. Oh, you were worried about it. Well, didn't you do this well? Well, I've, uh, I've got to go change my clothes. I'll okay. see you all okay. later. Okay, Bye, Bob. Bob. Mary, it'll be a few minutes before this show. Why don't you sit down? Oh, we'll okay. relax a little bit here. I hope the show is good. You know, Mama watches every program I'm on. Hey, by the way, Mary, how's your mother enjoying her stay in? Tell them it's their time. Tell them it's their time. Hurry! Tell them it's their time. Tell them it's their time. <laughs> we haven't got as much time as I thought. Well, better get my tie on. Gosh, I hope that song is good. You know, Mama's my severest critic. Well, I've got a critic, too. You know, I always rush home as soon as the show is over to find out exactly what Rochester thought of it. Rochester? Yep. And believe me, he's a good judge of material, too. I go by everything he says. Well, Jack, I'll see you on stage. Okay, Mary, and don't be nervous or anything. Gosh, I hope Rochester likes the show.
Oh, I got a little cabin up in the High Sierras. It isn't much. We'll only have cold water. Have to chop a lot of wood to keep warm, but we'll have a lot of fun. Sounds good to me. Oh, pardon me. I got to put this thing away. Ah! Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> Rochester, what kind of gadget is this? Oh, little secret of mine. I had it made at Sam's Bicycle Shop. I can clean the whole house in 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes? What do you do in your spare time? What did you say? I said, what do you do with your spare time? Roy, where Mr. Benny's concerned, the word spare only pertains to bowling. <laughs> well, I gotta be running along now. I'll see you in the morning. And don't be late. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna pack tonight. Oh, good, good. Uh, say, Roy, how much food should we take along well, with us? Well, we're not gonna take any food. There's a lot of game up there. If we get hungry, we'll take our guns and go out and shoot something. Sure sounds exciting. Well, see you in the morning. So long, Rochester. <laughs> if Mr. Benny knew I could clean this house in 20 minutes, he'd really load me down with work. <laughs> Sam's bicycle chop, Sam's bicycle chop. <laughs> Polly, if you repeat one word of this in front of Mr. Benny, I'm going to take a pair of tweezers and pluck your eyebrows all the way down. <laughs> It's almost time for Mr. Benny's television show. I better get set to watch it. Turn it on, turn it on. I will, I will. Sam's bicycle shop. <laughs> Polly, forget about that. The Jack Benny program. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good evening. <laughs> Which way did they go, Sheriff? They went that way. Oh, my goodness, I fell asleep and missed the whole show. If Mr. Benny ever finds out that I fell asleep during this program, he'll put me in irons and hang me from the highest yard arm. <laughs> Boy, how he hams it up. <laughs> Mr. Christian! <laughs> Boy, I don't want to go through that again. Polly, you heard what they said on Mr. Benny's show, and you can help me out of a spot. Now, tell me, what did they say on Mr. Benny's show? Uh, tell me, what did they talk about? You know, you always repeat everything you hear. Now, now tell me, what did they talk about on Mr. Benny's show? And now for our guest star tonight. Yeah, that's it. Uh, now for it. Who, who was it, Polly? Who was it? That charming, that talented. That charming, that talented. That popular. Yeah, is that popular? That Polly, who was it? That popular. Polly, that popular who? Sam's bicycle shop. <laughs> uh oh, there's Mr. Benny. I better hurry and get this room straightened up. <laughs> well, Rochester, what do you think of my show? Well, well, what? Well, would you like me to fix you a sandwich? No. <laughs> Some lovely ham. No, no, I don't want a sandwich, Rochester. Uh, tell me, uh, what did you think of my show? I mean, did you find it entertaining? Well, I mean, did it hold you? Hold me? Boss, I didn't move out of that chair. I'm gonna go fix you the sandwich. Rochester, come back here. <laughs> now look, this is important. You see, I can't improve my shows unless I get an honest opinion. Now tell me the truth, Rochester. Did you really like it? Boss, while your show was on, I didn't see anything I didn't like. <laughs> 
That's about as honest as I can make it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Polly. Now, Rochester, you see, you've given me an overall opinion of the show, but which part, I say, did you like best? Which part of the show? Well, I especially like the way you introduced your guest star. Mm -hmm. That talented, that charming, that popular. That was class, boss. Real class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, shall I fix you that sandwich? Yeah. Hold me but a minute. Oh, here's today's paper. Thanks. I like New York in June. How about you? Gee, that's a nice song. Sure glad we had it on our program today. I like a Gershwin too. How about you? Yum, be dum ba da -do. Boss, that song you're humming is one of my favorites. It is? Uh-huh. But I haven't heard it in a long time. Well... <laughs> Rochester, you said you haven't heard that song in a long time? Mm, not for at least three or four weeks. Hmm. Rochester, you didn't watch my television show today, did you? Well, answer me. Did you or did you not watch my television show? Rochester. Well, you see, boss, it was this way. I don't care which way. <laughs> what were you doing while my show was on? <laughs> oh, so that's it. Thanks, <laughs> You were asleep, weren't you? Boss, I turned on the set, and then I made myself so comfortable, I fell asleep. Look, Rochester, if you must sleep during a television show, why does it have to be mine? Why don't you sleep when, when Bob Hope is on? I tried that, but the laughs kept waking me up. <laughs> oh, the laughs kept waking you up. But during my program... Slept like a baby. missing my program. The one person I depended on. But boss! Don't but boss me. There's no excuse for missing my show, Rochester. Can I get you some coffee? I don't want any coffee. You can go to your room. But I gotta start fixing dinner. I'll prepare my own dinner. And as for you, you can stay in your room without dinner. Now go. But, boss, go. <laughs> hello? Hello, Jack. This is Mary. Oh, hello, Mary. Jack. I just had to call you. You know, the funniest thing happened. What? Well, you know how anxious I was to find out how Mama liked the show? Yeah. But when I got home, I found she fell fast asleep and missed the whole thing. What? Isn't that funny? Funny? I don't think it's funny. Oh, Jack, you're, you're just an old, old fuddy-duddy. Fuddy-duddy? Well, Jack, I've got to go now. I have to pick some lamb chops for Mama. What? You, you, you mean your mother missed the program and you're not sending her to her room without her dinner? I don't know what you're talking about, but I gotta go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you're a fuddy-duddy. 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 Blue-eyed fuddy-duddy. <laughs> Maybe Mary was right. 
It's funny at that, falling asleep and missing the program. I don't think the boss will be mad at me very long. By the time I get back from Roy's cabin, he'll be all over it. I don't know why I got so upset with Rochester. I'm going to his room and tell him to forget it. Rochester, I just thought the whole thing over. And, and it's, it's... Rochester. <laughs> Rochester, what are you doing? I'm packing. Packing? Yeah, I'm leaving in the morning. <laughs> Look, Rochester, if, if, if I said anything to hurt your feelings, I'm, I, I'm terribly sorry. I, uh, I mean, can I help it if I'm an old fuddy-duddy? <laughs> it isn't so terrible that you, that, you, that you fell asleep during my program. Gee, I, I fell asleep once, and, and I was on it. <laughs> Look, Rochester, after all these years, don't leave me. I mean, don't walk out. Walk out? <laughs> Rochester, look, if anything ever happened to you, I, I, I never forgive myself. I mean, Rochester, look, where, where, what are you going to do? I mean, where... Where are you going to go? Oh, I don't know. I'll just wander around and probably end up at some cabin in the mountains. <laughs> but Rochester, it'll be cold up there. It might even be snowing. I know. And I'll probably have to chop wood. Keep warm. <laughs> there won't be anything but cold water. So what are you going to eat? Don't worry. I'll take my gun along. And if I get real hungry, I'll shoot something. Well, I just I told you, I, I, I'm sorry for what I did. And believe me, I, I, I'll make it up to you. Look, I, I, I'll give you extra vacations. I'll give, I'll give you a Labor Day off with pay. I'll even put a window in your room. And, and, and Rochester, you know what else I'm going to do? You know what? I'm, I'm going right in the kitchen now and make you a nice big dinner. Now, what would you like? Well, I am kind of hungry. Of course you are. You know what I'll do? I'll make you some, a nice big steak, you know, with mashed potatoes and gravy and, and, and hot biscuits. And and, 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 oh, you just wait right here. I'll be right here. And why do you taste that steak? It's delicious. Looks good. Never mind. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Hello? Rochester's for you. Uh, just take a message, please. Uh, uh, I'll take a message. Yes, Roy. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, he's all back. Yes, he's going to leave with you in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, goodbye, Roy. Ha, ha, ha.